so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze and this is nezeville long before you may and judy there was tichidi sophia and noella and trust me it was just as messy tichidi is a nigerian producer director script writer and actor he also claims to be a musician but can we please just keep that aside and focus on what he's actually good at this theater arts graduate from Mbise in Imo State, Nigeria is a very talented movie director. He has so many Nollywood blockbusters to his credit. Movies such as Stronger Than Pain, Professor Jumbu, Do Me Be The Dirty Girl, and The Almighty Blood Sisters, which featured Nollywood's heavyweight Genevieve Naji and Omotolo Jalade for the first time in one movie. He was that goat that could pull that off at a time when everybody suspected that Genevieve and Omotola were sworn enemies and could not stand each other in the same room. TGD did it. He has won several awards for his works, including an AMVCA, the African Magic Viewer's Choice Awards, and an African Movie Academy Awards. TGD is talented, diverse, and well sought after. He is indeed an influential person in the Nollywood space. Tichidi was married to... But wait, <laughs> what is this T in front of the Chidi? We all know the name Chidi. Please, I don't understand this Tichidi. <laughs> if you're Igbo or you know exactly what that T means in front of the Chidi, please let us know in the comment section because I'm a bit confused right now. But let's get back to the story. Tichidi was married to a lady called Sophia. <laughs> beautiful, talented, charming woman. In addition to being a Nollywood actress and producer, Sophia was also a businesswoman and a skin expert. Sophia and Tichidi kicked off their love affair that would eventually climax into marriage when she was only 18 and him in his early 20s. They got married in 2003, just about four years after he kicked off fully into Nollywood. And it was the usual pattern. Wife of his youth sequence, growing together. You know what I'm talking about. Sophia was the woman that TGD started life with. A beautiful chocolate and vanilla blend. This couple seemed like the perfect match. They were both thriving in their careers and their marriage was blessed with three kids, three boys. They seemed to have it all. But just as they say, things are not always the way they seem to be. Nine years after Tichidi and Sophia got married, their marriage crashed in the most scandalous and public of all ways. So on this particular day, people woke up to the news on several blogs that the marriage between Tichidi and Sophia had hit the rocks. According to several sources, this talented director had called off his marriage and had sent Sophia packing, <laughs> sent her out of his house. He was the one who initiated the divorce. Sophia took to social media to give account of all she had to deal with in the course of their marriage. She mentioned quite a lot, but the one that stuck out like a sore thumb was her allegation that her husband of almost 10 years was in some sort of a morous and very serious relationship with fellow Nollywood actress, Noella Ndubibo. According to Sophia, Noella has always been a source of headache, pain and rift between her and her husband. And despite how much she has tried to severe the bond between Noella and her husband, Noella has sworn not to leave her husband alone. Tichidi, in response to Sophia's claim, described his now estranged wife as a nightmare, one who was only trying so hard to tarnish his reputation. Describing her father as the most terrible wife in the whole world, someone that never gave him a home, a party freak who had no respect for marriage. He said that she stabbed him continuously of love, affection, and food, even after providing everything needed 
in the house. He said that Sophia only wanted to bear his name but didn't want any single responsibility or commitment that comes naturally from marriage. He took to Twitter to say this. I remember when I used to cry for food in my own house. Oh no. A house where I provide for everything. Sometimes up to five days without food. Do you know what love is? Since when? Sophia, do not push me to talk. This is just a pinch of salt compared to the real deal. If I talk, <laughs> people will see you on the streets and stone you. All the juju you and your family have done to destroy me. <laughs> juju kwa, it's alright. It didn't work. My God is stronger than all of you. That is why you have come out to scream. In 5,000 lives and more to come, I do not wish to Never meet anybody like you, Sophia. You are a nightmare. And even when you are lying, you cry. <laughs> oh, Coco Bioko. Guys, apart from Tichi D accusing his wife of marital negligence and diabolism, he went further to accuse her of the bombshell of infidelity. He claimed that Sophia had a boyfriend even when they were still married. Sharing photos of Sophia locked in an embrace of a mystery man. He alleged that that was one of his wife's lovers and that all he wants was to experience love and what it felt like to be truly married. Hmm. So that was how the marriage between Tichini and Sophia came to an abrupt end. And despite Noella constantly insisting that her and Tichidi were just colleagues and friends, called her a blatant liar, insisting that she was the reason why the marriage between her and her husband crashed. She said, You put what God has joined together asunder and made my children cry every night. Let God Almighty fight for me and judge you. Let vengeance be of the Lord who sees and who knows. And so they went their separate ways. But can we call it a coincidence or what? That less than two years after Tichidi sent his wife and mother of his three sons packing, he married the very woman who his wife cried out is responsible for the marriage breakup. Tichidi married Noella. In March of 2014, news made it out that Tichidi <laughs> had gotten married to Noella traditionally at her hometown in Anambra State. And the very next year, they tied the knot legally in a court marriage conducted at a marriage registry. And people were like, <laughs> Oh, Diego. Noella, oh, Diego. I Abi, mean, this is the same man <laughs> that you said is your friend, your mentor, your brother in the Lord, your role model. <laughs> she is the same man. <laughs> now, mentor, don't marry mentee. They were like, so this thing that Sophia was crying about is actually true. They were so disappointed. They were like, why? Women, why? You saw a married man, married with a wife and three children, three boys. And you have the mind, a cow bee, to break that home and enter. Guys, the full rot of internet warriors was unleashed on Noella. In fact, what Judy went through <laughs> is a tip of the iceberg compared to the dragging and insults that Noella received. It's just that back then, the internet and social media was not that prominent as it is right now. But Noella was dragged and trolled. Well, Noella released this statement, and in her statement, she insisted that at the time Tichidi and Sophia were married, she didn't have anything to do with the man, and that this was not the way they imagined or planned it. She said that nobody, absolutely nobody, has a crystal ball to know or tell who they will end up with. She described life as nothing but a dice. <laughs> dice. Okay, no. Oh, yeah, because we are, no, let us start to play Ludo. Life is a dice. She concluded by saying that perhaps the rumors that were peddled against them contributed 
to them looking each other's way. In fact, hear this part. Where this love will lead me, <laughs> I cannot say. I am not God, but I have hope, faith and belief that it will lead me to a good place. The key to failure is trying to please everybody. I choose not to take that route. Instead, I'm following my heart. My heart is remarkably at peace with this decision. It's okay. And although a lot of people didn't believe Noella, and despite all the aspersions that were cast on her, she continued in her pursuit for happiness. And before long, her and Tichidi welcomed a child, a daughter. And four years after their daughter, they finally walked down the aisle in a lavish white wedding ceremony held in a church at VGC, Lagos. Sophia, on the other hand, moved on with another man. A lot of people didn't believe that Sophia was going to find a young, handsome, tear robber bobo after she had dropped three sons. And the boy, oh boy, according to reports, this guy was head over heels in love with Sophia, <laughs> lavishing her with gifts and expensive items. He was said to have bought her a car, a house, expensive jewelry, sent her on vacations. He was literally mad about her. And three years after dating, he proposed to her. She said yes, and they both have a beautiful daughter together. So Tichidi had long moved on with Noella, and Sophia had moved on with her new man. And you would think that everyone can now rest and let these people enjoy and live out their lives. But no, the story was far from over. So there is this set of people we don't know them, we don't know who they are, we don't know what they do, we don't know where they live, but we know that they exist. And we know that they have a problem. The type of problem they have, whether physical, mental, psychological or spiritual, is yet to be ascertained, but we are very certain that they have a big problem. These set of people are those that go around people's Instagram pages and handles, snooping to know who has followed who and who has unfollowed who. So these Instagram CIA <laughs> had discovered and disclosed that Tichidi Chikere had unfollowed his wife, Noella. In fact, they had both unfollowed each other and they had both wiped out all their pictures from each other's pages. No trace of them or their marriage or their relationship remained on their pages. <laughs> Upon further snooping, <laughs> it was discovered that Noella had taken off Chidi's surname from her names. <laughs> Proud wife. All those wifey status on Instagram. All gone. All erased. <laughs> and people are like, yeah, 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 eh. Oh, lo, lo, lo. <clears throat> what has happened? Inquiries and questioning began. And Tichidi revealed that his marriage to Noella had indeed broken down. And when asked why, he said that Noella on this fateful day just packs out her bags in the middle of the night and sneaks out of his house without him knowing. Like she snuck out in the middle of the night like a thief in the night. And people were like, Abba, Abba, Brother Bernard, easy with the lies now. Eh? Lie on us, we are your mocha foam. A woman, a married woman, happily married with a child, Enjoying the peace and bliss and comfort of a supportive partner. We just wake up and say today I decide that I want to run away from my husband's house. And in the middle of the night, when reasonable people are sleeping, she'll pack her things and run away with her child. <laughs> Brother Bernard, well done, sir. <laughs> people didn't believe one single word that Tichidi said. And they even speculated that Noella must have seen Shege Banza in that marriage. As in, she must have seen Pepe mixed with Atarodo. But because of shame, she remains there. That she would have even left a very long time ago. But because of the way she got the guy, she had to endure until it was unbearable. And they're like, these women, when you tell them to calm down and look for their own husbands, their eyes will be on other people's husbands. You see a man bouncing, wearing fine shirt and shoe. You'll be admiring him. You don't know saying a monster. <laughs> Where the wife does dress up package. Your eyes go the chook. Your eyes go the chook. When you enter, 
you won't get to rubbiati. You start enjoying what that first wife was enjoying, and you see how sweet it is. My Yoruba people will say the, the broom or the cane that they used to flog the first wife is what they used to flog the second wife. That's when you start seeing that that man that you admire from afar is not that angel that you taught him to be. Divorce, they say, is a bad thing, but in this case, trust me, a lot of people felt nothing but happiness at the crash of Noella and Tichidi's marriage. They said that the god of Sophia was indeed fighting for her, and there was nothing as sweet as Kama being served cold and publicly. Sophia herself took to social media to shade the hell out of Noella. Recall that Tichidi and Noella had referred to their marriage as a union made in heaven. Sophia took to social media to post, waiting happen to love made in heaven. <laughs> I am just asking for a friend who is not on Instagram. <laughs> Sophia was sure petty and a lot of people believed that she had good reason to be so. Well, since TGD and Noella's marriage crashed in 2021, nothing has been heard about them regarding their love life. And so you must be wondering, neze, neze, neze. <laughs> so why are you opening all this kind of canker worms? Why are you bringing this to us right now? I'll tell you why. Only a few days ago, TGD took to social media to announce that he has gotten married again for the third time. And people are like, Hmm. What do you Some men are serial marriers. While some on the other hand are wondering what kinds of women marry these men that have been married for two, three, four, five times. What are they thinking? That they're going to be different? Do they ask questions? Doesn't it bother them that one person has been married to multiple women and the marriages keep failing? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But when TGD announced this, it was such a surprise that his first wife, Sophia, took to social media to congratulate him and heap accolades on him. She posted, congratulations, my G, and then went ahead to reveal their private chats where she was like, if they pain people say, I they congratulate you or say, I they say congratulations. People are wicked. They don't ever want people to be happy. Chuck on them, Odogu. Biggest congratulations. I'm genuinely happy for you and I don't care how anybody interprets it. Can you guess in the comment section who this message, who this shade was directed to? Mm -hmm. Noella, on the other hand, have reacted by saying that she was going to come out and tell her own story and directed people to go to her YouTube channel and subscribe and wait for her bombshell story. Well, I can't wait to watch it. I can't wait to hear her own story. And when she does say it, I'll bring it to your notice. So to wrap up this video, some people have likened the Noella Tichidi and Sophia situation to you, Judy, and me. The major difference being that while Tichidi divorced Sophia and asked her to leave his house, you didn't divorce me but wanted to have the both of them together. But the similarity lies in the sense that you lose them just how you get them. Easy come, easy go. You do not, do not build your peace and joy on the foundation of another woman's misery and pains and expect it to last. So let me know what you think guys about this story. First, let me know what you think about people who have been married multiple times. Is it a red flag for you? Is it a turn off for you? Or do you think it's just nothing? That it's very possible that somebody can be unlucky repeatedly. A lot of people have described this as karma. Do let me know what you think about that as session. In conclusion, it's important that men know, especially African men, who like to rub off the <laughs> rights and privileges of polygamy on their wives' faces as an excuse to their waywardness and irresponsibility, that sometimes you might be unaware that it is the grace that your wife carries that might be influencing your success. And it might be the light that shines through your wife that may be that thing serving as an illumination for you. So before you discard what is good, just because of greed and your insatiability, 
hiding under your rights of polygamy as an African man, <laughs> be careful. Because really, you can never, ever eat your cake and have it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Don't forget to drop all your thoughts and your reactions in the comment section. If you're yet to subscribe, do hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. Do give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued for we have so much more coming your way. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze, and this is Nezaville. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye.